Monday, July 13th, 2015 Evil created, evil sustained There is a difference between what an evil can create and what situations are sustained by evil action. I think the former is not necessarily evil, while the latter is necessarily evil. Let's take an example. One of the most evil acts known to man is rape the use of force to physically control another person. It is not uncommon for a woman victim to get pregnant from the assault. In this case, there is no obligation for the child to follow in the steps of the father. Good raising and care will create a good person regardless of the father. We have all seen cases of good children from bad parents. On the other hand, there are situations that can only exist, be sustained, perpetuated, by evil acts. Take another extreme evil, slavery. It is not possible to possess slaves without coercing yourself on them. Without continuous coercion, slavery will not exist instantly so. It seems that anything caused by evil may be either good or bad, while anything sustained by evil must also be wrong. This observation lets us better judge people's choices. Anyone who enjoys the results of another's evil is not liable unless they are also involved. However, if you are enjoying the sustained evil actions of others, then you are collaborating and are necessarily committing evil.